Yo, welcome back to my channel again. Today we have another exciting news from Techno, apart from their handheld um, gaming device they produce running on Windows 11 AMD processor with augmented reality glasses. That tech was off the chart and it's quite expensive. So anytime you get your hands on, you've seen it, you, you've used it, comment on in the comment section and tell us how you feel for the device. I believe the device is going to change gaming this time. So speaking of that, Techno started another run, which they the last time they did was about ten years ago or seven years ago. They entered the tablet world again. They've been all over the phone, the foldables, high-end phones, everything. But it's like they decided to step in into the world of tablet again. The last time Techno produced tablet was back. It's been long, but I know the tablet name. I bought it. It was Techno Droid. At 7D is very old and it's very long. In short, if you go to the official website, you can't find a tablet again. You can actually Google it. The name of the tablet is Droid Part 7D by Techno. It's far back behind. So once again, this week, Techno just we just got a leak from Techno. They are planning again to enter the tablet world, just like others have entered their and their sister company, if Infinite has a couple of tablets. Even ITEL just released some tablets ago now, this, this year already. So I believe they are trying to see whether they can enter the market again from tablet angle. They succeeded in phone angles, they succeeded in flip angle, they succeeded in foldable angles, so now are trying to enter the tablet. Today, the tablet I'm discussing about, the leak I'm discussing, the number of tablets called the Techno Mega 10. So stay tuned. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Stay tuned with us. We're going, we're go, we are going to elaborate and expand this leak. Hey, what coming on on the tablet? So stay tuned. Which, uh, I, I'm not going to waste much of your time. So let me just run down the whole spec we've seen about the tablet. I believe this should be 50 to 70 percent correct. The image should be around 50 to 45 percent correct. We have to wait till the, these things drop for us to know whether we got the, the specs right or we are wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm going to correct. If I'm right, I'm going to still tell you I'm right. So for now, the tablet is called the Techno Mega 10. Techno Mega Part 10 is coming with Android 14. It's coming with MediaTek Helio G80 chip, meaning that it's a little bit budget tablet. Then it's, and the size of the tablet is going to be 10 inch, 10 inch, 10 inch, that is 10, 10.1 inch to be precise. It's going to be, it's, going, it's not going to be full HD. It's going to be 800 by 1280 pixel, which is not full HD. It's going to be 4 gig RAM pair with 128 gig or 256 depends on which one you like you can buy but the main thing is that the ram is 4 gig ram the back camera is going to be 13 the front is going to be 5 which is budget budget this this thing i'm showing that is just something that this is a budget tablet so battery is 7000 still around budget range i've seen tablet that comes with 11000 battery i've seen tablet that comes with 10000 i've seen tablet that comes with 16000 so this is still the latest thing. It's going to be 4G. It's not going to be 5G. I'm paired with a nano SIM. So anybody that is expecting this tablet with 5G, it's not going. This is a budget tablet, so I don't think they are going to give it 5G chip. So it's going to be 5G. I believe it's going to be. If they, are, they have Wi-Fi only and data and Wi-Fi um, model, as tablet always comes nowadays for marketing purposes. They produce ones for Wi-Fi only. It doesn't have the SIM card. They still get the same card version, so it depends how tech is going to run this. We have to wait to find out. Then this tablet comes with two colors for now. We don't know whether there's additional color. We have the gray color and the gold color. It has double dual speakers. I think one at the other side and the other side of the tablet. And it compares with Bluetooth 5.1, which is a little bit recent. So I know the latest Bluetooth is around 5.4, but 5.1 is still good connectivity. It's, it comes with Type C. And at last, this tablet they gave it a, um, this head jack, head jack that is earpiece, 3.5 millimeter head jack. So it's good. It's an average tablet. So for me, I'm going to put this tablet at the range of um, around 150 to 200 dollars. It it won't pass 200 dollars because if you look at the specs, Android 14, Helio G80, 10.1 inch screen, not full HD, 4 gig RAM. Who? 4 gig RAM is a little bit behind. Back camera 13 is a tablet, front is 5 level tablet. Battery is 7000 milliamp battery. Wax is 18 wax, good. 4G. 
it was um, of NDC type and USB type C. So I'll put it a range of around 200 and, and below. So this is the this is what we know about this tablet for now.